My wife asked me to sink her phone, so I threw it into the ocean. Today, I'm going to recap a 2019 action history film called Torpedo. During World War II, a high-profile conference is held in London, where the officials discuss an upcoming mission to transport a stolen German submarine containing uranium from Belgian Congo to New York for the Manhattan Project. At General May's request, the mission is assigned to a group of German resistance fighters led by Stan. Stan and his team currently reside at a camp in Flanders, where they often bring in German soldiers and kill them in revenge for Nazi crimes. Stan's daughter, Nadine, is also one of the group members, but she is never called in to participate in combat. This situation makes her upset with Stan, as she thinks he considers her less competitive, but her boyfriend, Philip, assures her that he just wants to protect her. While having a conversation, he shows her a special bullet, which she tries shooting, but gets shocked to see its disastrous effect. Stan, who is known to be a courageous leader, often has nightmares about the time when he was held captive by the German soldiers, who killed his wife in front of him and tortured him to get information about his accomplices. While taking care of him, Nadine talks to him about her mother and her brother Louis, who she thinks is in France, as Stan told her so, but he always changes the subject. One day, the group is approached by another resistance fighter, who tells them about the deadly mission of transporting uranium to the U.S. After accepting the proposal, the group arrives in Congo, where they are welcomed by the Captain Mays. During the initial briefing about the mission, Mays tells them that the uranium they have to transport will be used to build a bomb so powerful that it will be able to destroy cities within a few seconds. After explaining the mission, he informs the group that they have only three weeks to learn how to operate the submarine, as they cannot risk taking any unnecessary person on board. Later, at Captain May's request, a German Navy soldier, Captain Franz, is brought in to teach the group about the submarine. Stan refuses to travel with him, but Mays convinces him, saying they can't do it without Franz's help. As Franz begins their training, he tells them that the boat is equipped with torpedo, but they are not allowed to shoot it, as the mission is solely focused on transport rather than combat. He then gives them a tour around the submarine, showing them different compartments. After the tour, Captain Mays assigns different jobs to the group, except for Nadine. When she questions Stan about it, he reveals she won't be accompanying them on the mission and has to go back on the boat transporting uranium to the submarine. Although she does not want to stay back and argues with him on his decision, Stan does not want to take her on this suicide mission. After getting the initial briefing from Franz, they finally manage to start the engines for the first time. The next morning, the boat arrives and the group starts shifting uranium boxes to the submarine while Nadine gets ready to leave. Werner catches a signal on the radio and hears the message from another ship, learning that the German Navy is in the area. He rushes outside to inform the group, who also spot the ships approaching them. Sensing an upcoming attack, Mays asks the group to take the submarine into the deep waters, as they don't have time to train anymore. Although Mays initially told Franz that they will let him go after the training, they now can't risk slowing down. He forces Franz to come with him, but he starts fighting with Mays, knowing the mission is almost impossible to achieve. Meanwhile, Stan hears another message, realizing the ships are planning an attack. He rushes to the deck to ask the boat captain to leave immediately. Soon, they hear a gunshot and find that Franz has killed Captain Mays. Enraged, Stan intends to kill him in revenge, but Werner stops him by saying they still need his assistance because none of them know how to pilot. Stan leaves the compartment and comes across Nadine and tells her she will be staying on board as the boat has already left. Meanwhile, the group members start getting down, but learn that the African guy, Jenga, who came on the boat, is also left behind on the submarine. Fonz does not want to take him with them, but is forced to accept his presence. They quickly turn on the engines, while Stan forces Captain Franz to help them out, who unwillingly complies with him. As Tam and Kalis try to open the main belt, Jenga assists them in the job and becomes friends with them. After seeing the ship still far away from them, they dive the submarine into the sea, but the water starts dripping in. Franz tries to assist them, but finds it difficult to work with his handcuffs on. He requests Stan to get them off, but he declines, saying he does not trust him at all. 
A German plane also starts looking for the submarine, but can't get a sight of it, as they have already submerged in water. While using the bathroom, Tame presses the wrong valve, and they get into trouble after the water starts coming in. Franz rushes to the bathroom and starts fighting with him, as the batteries are directly underneath and can be damaged if they don't control the water in time. His concerns prove to be true, and they are forced to come up to the surface to pump the water out of the submarine. The plane spots them, but leaves without an attack. As they wonder about it, Franz tells them he will be keeping an eye on them and will only attack when they will go down again because a diving submarine is an easy target. Werner thinks they should stay on the surface until the plane runs out of fuel, but Franz says it's impossible as the pilot might have called in for backup. At his suggestion, they start diving in again, but Stan stays on the deck and shoots down the plane just as it's about to attack. At night, Stan has another nightmare, remembering how the soldiers killed his toddler Louise by drowning him in water, and he could not do anything for him due to his chains. It makes him realize Franz's discomfort with his handcuffs, and he thinks about removing them, but changes his mind. After finding Philip absent from the site, Captain Franz goes in search of him to get him back to his work, but finds him sleeping with Nadine. As he talks to them, Stan comes over. Although Franz tries to distract him from them, he spots them and starts beating Philip up. When Nadine intervenes, he asks her to stay away from Philip until they get married. After listening to him, she decides to marry Philip on the spot and calls everyone to join. They all gather at the deck, where Franz starts the wedding ceremony, but Philip hesitates to proceed without Stan. Before he can decide anything, the ceremony is interrupted as Stan warns them about the ships and everyone is forced to rush back inside. Seeing Nadine upset with him, Philip tries to clarify his position and assures her that they will get married as soon as they dock in the U.S. While talking to him, she shares her plan to introduce him to his mother in France, but Philip starts crying as he knows about her mother and brother's death. Nadine is shocked to hear this as Stan never told her about it, but Philip says he did it because he could not gather the courage to see her devastated. Meanwhile, Werner warns the group about an approaching torpedo fired by the Germans, but luckily, it misses the target and they survive. Franz orders them to turn off the engines and maintain complete silence on board so they won't be spotted by the ships above them. He also sends Van Prague and Kalissi to prepare the torpedo for a counterattack on the ships. They get the torpedo ready, but Van Prague's legs get crushed by it during an accident. After getting him out with Jenga's help, they fire the torpedo, but the submarine gets hit by another torpedo, which slides across its surface. The torpedo fired by them successfully destroys the ship, but they also face a severe impact due to their closeness with the ship. Propulsion gets broken, but they manage to take things under control. As they celebrate, they are informed about Van Prague and rush to him. After seeing his severe injuries, Stan learns there is no other way but to amputate his legs to save his life. He asks Fonz to do it, but he refuses, saying if he does, he won't ever be able to face Van again. Seeing them arguing and learning that they don't have any other choice, they get him drunk and Werner amputates his leg. As everyone sits by his side in sadness, Stan shares a drink with Captain Franz and gives him the keys to his handcuffs, but says he only did it so he can help them in running the engines. Seeing him upset about Van, Franz tries to comfort him, saying it was necessary to save his life. Stan tells him Van was a passionate football player, but now he won't ever be able to play again. Upon Stan's question about his passion, Franz tells him that he was always a soldier, but says he never got to choose sides, revealing he was not with Nasus at his own choice. The German ships arrive near the submarine. Their captain sends in a message, asking them to identify themselves. On Stan's orders, Franz talks to him, introducing himself as a German Navy captain. He tells them they have got a technical problem on the submarine and are trying to get it resolved. In response, the captain offers to send a mechanic. Although Franz says they got it under control, but agrees to take his help, as he insists. Stan starts fighting with him, but Franz clarifies it, by telling him if he did not do it, they might have gotten suspicious about them. When the soldiers from the other ship arrive, Franz tells them that they hit a mine, but invites them over for a drink, by saying the issue is resolved now. 
As they drink, the captain tells Franz about a suspicious submarine transporting uranium, but he changes the subject by joking about it. Van wakes up and starts screaming after seeing his legs. Germans get alarmed, but Franz tells them it's one of their soldiers, who got hit in an accident. The captain sends in one of his soldiers to go check on him, but he soon learns they are not the German soldiers. When he warns his team about them, the ensuing fight kills Werner and Van Prag. The captain also aims at Stan, but gets shot by Franz. Seeing them speechless about his gesture, he tells them that he is aware of German cruelty and doesn't want them to get their hands on uranium, knowing it might cause massive destruction. At his suggestion, they prepare to leave the area, but the soldiers on the other ship get suspicious about them. Learning they don't have enough time to dodge them, Stan sends Nadine to shoot the ship down. She gets to the deck, and by using the same bullet Philip gave her earlier, manages to destroy the ship. They also get in trouble, as its wreckage hits the submarine and Stan gets injured. The water starts flooding in, so they close the doors in the lower compartments. Everyone rushes inside, but Tammy's hand gets stuck, and they are forced to leave him to drown. Members get to the main area, but this time, Nedine gets locked outside, as the marine sinks to the bottom of the sea. Seeing her trapped, Franz sends in a message to the upper floor, informing Stan about her. Although injured himself, he rushes to save his daughter. He swims to the backside of the marine, but the water rises above Nadine's head. The group loses hopes to save her, but Stan arrives and manages to take her inside, where they'd barely manage to save her life. When they send a message to the engine room to inform Franz about his safety, he hugs Jenga in his excitement and finally accepts him. Knowing there is no other way to get the submarine to the surface again, Franz leaves and swims to the engine room to start them manually. Meanwhile, an injured Stan gives the wedding ring to Philip while asking him to take care of his daughter. Franz manages to start the submarine but loses his life in the struggle while Stan succumbs to his injuries just when they are about to arrive in New York. Four years later, the remaining members, Kalissa, Jenga, Franz, Nadine and Philip, with their son, are now living in Miami. The radio announces that the U.S. government has deployed the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and discovered a new weapon of mass destruction. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy, hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the full movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more video like this.